Here in Budapest, Hungary, these school children are going walkabout with the Bupap City Walk Association. They're studying the history of Hungary during the last century by visiting sites including a villa that was used as a secret prison for political prisoners during the communist era. I think learning while walking is better than the traditional way of sitting in the classroom. Visiting historical sites gives a feeling of reality. Kids can experience and learn all those things that can seem abstract and distant if you learn them from a book. During the 20th century, Hungary fought alongside Germany in both the First and the Second World Wars, sustaining significant damage to their infrastructure and large numbers of fatalities. We aim to clarify this knowledge in their heads by studying this era later in the classroom. Through being in the field, the knowledge gained sticks in their heads better. After the Second World War, the country became part of the Soviet bloc and was forcibly administered as a communist state until 1989. During the communist era, hundreds of thousands of Hungarians were arrested, imprisoned and or deported. Many died at the hands of an authoritarian regime. The scars of these historical events are evident everywhere in the capital city. My great-grandmother is 103, so she's seen quite a few things. I think it's good to have knowledge, but better not to experience everything that she's seen. We're currently studying the 20th century in class. It's good to see all this, the places and surroundings. Walking through places where history happened brings the past to life. And then it's back to the classroom to put pen to paper and make sense of it all.